Hey, welcome back to the series that we've been doing on Lover. I've been going track by track to see if I can find a deeper meaning within each of the songs. Today we're on track 14, which is titled You Need to Calm Down. Um, this is a song that I have a brief history with, I guess you could say. Um, I have heard it a little bit through the Eras tour, and I think this was one of the more popular songs from the album. So I might have heard it before. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to see the music video or really go through the lyrics, but this is a song that I definitely have heard before. So that being said, we are going to listen to the lyric version, then we're going to watch the music video, and then on my Patreon we're going to watch a live performance, and that's the extended version of this video, so you're welcome to check that out. Um, but if not, let's just get straight into the video. We're up early. Say it in the street, that's a knockout. But you say it in a tweet, that's a cop out. And I'm just like, hey, are you okay? And I ain't trying to mess with your self expression, but I've learned a lesson that's stressing and obsessing about somebody else's no fun. Okay, um, I didn't realize how short the song was. It's less than three minutes, but uh, that was the first verse and the chorus. So let's go back and read that. Um, it says, you are somebody that I don't know, but you're taking shots at me like it's Patron. And I'm just like, damn, it's 7 a.m. Say it in the street, that's a knockout. But you say it in a tweet, that's a cop out. And I'm just like, hey, are you okay? But I ain't trying to mess with your self-expression because I learned a lesson that stressing and obsessing about someone else is no fun. And snakes and stones never broke my bones. You need to calm down, you're being too loud. <clears throat> Can you just not step on my gown? You need to calm down. Um, especially with the very last lyrics about... Uh, can you not step on my gown you need to calm down that just makes me think of like don't rain on my parade like why do you have to come and ruin whatever fun that i'm having but going back to that very first taking shots at me like it's patron is pretty funny <laughs> if you think about it um it does remind me of the lyrics from like mean where she says that, that person's just gonna be drunk in a bar talking over a football game but they're still having their loud opinion um, so it feels like a song similar to that. Maybe it's just because I thought of the shots of Patron and like how that person just kept saying mean things about her. But that's what I would think that's kind of trying to say there. Um, and then say it in the street, that's a knockout and say it in the tweet, that's a cop out. It's like, I would only assume like, you're kind of trying to say like, if you're man enough to say it, say it to my face. Or maybe not man enough, but you know, say it to my face if you have something to say. It's more like, if you say it in the street, I would actually feel hurt or like you it might actually affect me but if you're just gonna say it you know on a tweet that's over the internet so it's almost like the comment section of a place like luckily I have like one of the maybe I'm sure a lot of people say this but genuinely one of the nicest comment sections that I've seen so I'm not talking from experience here but you know a comment section it's easy to leave hate on someone that you know will never know your real name or know anything about you it's really easy just to click send and never think about that again so that's what I would think is saying in a tweet that's a cop out it's like you were brave enough to say it to my face or you actually give me critical feedback you just wanted to rain on someone else's parade or in a way or like just take the fun out of something. Maybe it comes from a place of jealousy. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're just feeling hateful that day. I don't know. But um, it definitely just seems like this is a song that's like in the vein of mean and like shake it off. It's kind of like maybe addressing the haters here. I think production wise, my favorite part of the song so far was the uh oh, because it sounded like it was going up in some sort of like, I don't know if octave's the right word, but it kept going up, which was really cool. Um, but then she had like a tongue twister about the I ain't trying to mess with your self-expression, but I've learned a lesson that stress and obsessing about someone else is no fun. So it feels like she's kind of just saying basically what she said in the first verse of like, she's like, people come at me, but you don't see me coming at other people because I've learned that there's no use in like stressing about other people's lives. Like I have to live mine for my own and like 
maybe she's just at a point where she doesn't want to harbor hate for anyone anymore because I feel like that's a topic that I've talked a little bit about with the Reputation album and how she, when she came out of that and other albums in the future it's like she says like um I'm trying to think of is it like clean or there's a song where I just felt like it felt like she was finally trying to let go of all the bad feelings that she's had with certain situations and it's just like I'm gonna leave it up to someone else because I can't carry the weight of you know other people's problems because with that it feels like she's saying like I treat people the way that I wish people would treat me um and then like I said the the chorus is just kind of fun just like you need to calm down like just calm it down take a breath this will pass over. You're maybe making a mountain out of a molehill here. Um, but other than that, let's just keep listening. I think I have a pretty decent grasp of what this song is going to be about, though. You are somebody that we don't know. But you're coming at my friends like a missile. Are you mad? When you could be glad. You could be glad. on the street at the parade. Parade, don't rain on my parade. In the dark age, just making that sign. I think the part about the O's is like at the very end of it, if you notice, it's almost like a little scream. That's the part I really like. But that second verse says, you are somebody that we don't know, but you're coming at my friends like a missile. So why are you mad when you could be glad? Um, sunshine on the street at the parade, but you would rather be in the dark age just making that sign. It must have taken you all night. You just need to take several seats and then try to restore the peace and control your urges to scream about all the people you hate. Cause shade never made anybody less gay. Um, okay. So coming at my friends like a missile, I don't know the analogy there, but I guess she's just saying like, why are you just, well, I guess if you think about a missile, it feels like missiles are targeted, you know, like if you're shooting a gun or something like that. In my head, it's like you're not necessarily having a full locked on aim, but maybe with a missile, it's like going after a particular person. That's what I would get out of this by saying missile there. Um, I don't know what when you could be glad. Like, I get that that means like, why be mad when you can be happy? Like, you know, I get that. But like, why is it spelled like that? I don't know if that's a typo or if I'm supposed to know something about that. I don't know what that means, though. Um, sunshine on the street of the parade. I think that's really funny because I said like, don't rain on my parade. And she's saying like, sunshine on the parade means like everyone's having a good time. Um, but you would rather be in the dark ages just making that sign. It must have taken you all night. I think if I wouldn't have heard the next lyric, I really wouldn't know what they meant about dark ages. But seeing that the next part, it says control your urges to scream out all the people you hate because shade never made anybody less gay. Um, I would assume that that's what she's referring to in regards to the dark ages. It's like, you know, maybe people are, are enjoying expressing themselves because she even said self, self, I ain't trying to mess with your self expression. So maybe she's not even talking about someone who identifies as like gay. Maybe she's saying like, I'm not trying to mess with how you perceive, um, like gay people or whatever it is. It's like, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but you could at least very least not intrude on other people's decisions like you might not have to um what's the right word like you might not have to be ex as accepting as others but you also don't have the right to try to control other people or like how they live their lives it's just like it almost feels like it's just saying like everyone should maybe stay in their lane <laughs> and do the things that they can as long as you can sleep at peace at night that's all that matters you live the life that you want to live and other people should do the same I guess that's all she's really trying to say there. Um, but if you guys have anything particular that you know what this exactly maybe is addressing, because I know we did say that Taylor Swift is a little bit more politically active in this album. Um, we've heard that on Miss Americana. I would only assume that this is another topic that she's trying to address here. Um, but I don't want to just assume or pigeonhole this song to think that it might just be about like the gay community it might be about something more so if it is about something else i don't want to say like it's about one thing when it's not um but that's what i'm thinking it's 
kind of pertaining to, but let's just keep listening. You over there on the internet, <laughs> comparing all the girls who are killing it, but we figured you out, we all know now, we all got crowns, you need to come down. Uh -oh. Um, it wasn't a super long bridge, but let me read that real quick. It says, And we see you over there on the internet comparing all the girls who are killing it, but we figured you out. We all know now. We all got crowns. Um, so maybe that's just saying, like, she knows she, they're aware of, you know, maybe when you say that you can't beat them, like, they can't control other people. But at the same time, maybe they find pleasure in, like, pitting people against each other um like comparing all the girls who are killing it so maybe they're posting like you know this person's better than this person and she's saying that maybe the gate i don't know who she's referring to but we as in all of those people do know they all have crowns which makes me think of like royalty and they know that like maybe they maybe it's just trying to say they know their self-worth and they're not letting other people going back to the same message is not letting people define themselves it's all about how they perceive themselves so if they say we all got crowns, I guess she's trying to say that they all view themselves with high regard. So doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks as long as they're feeling good about themselves. That's all that really should matter. And then I did think that it said something along. I might have missed that, but I didn't know if I mentioned it the last time. Um, Cause she said, can you not step on my gown? But then she said, can you not step on his gown? Um, so again, maybe just referring to a certain community saying like, you know, don't step so I guess she is maybe talking about more than one topic here because she's saying don't step on my gown. She's saying that people come for her, maybe for whatever reasons like being a female or whatever she's gone through. She's saying that she's had some sort of critique from people online. And then pe her friends, which I assume are a part of the gay community are the ones that are also getting similar hate. And she's saying like, we all know that we're all worth better than what people are calling us. Um, so that's the kind of message. I think it's a pretty powerful message just trying to empower the ones that don't always feel powerful maybe. But now let's just get straight into the music video and see if it adds any more context to what we already think the song's about. Calm down. <laughs> Mom, I'm a rich man. <laughs> you are somebody that I don't know, but you're taking shots at me like it's Patron and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> I wonder if the um the phone catching on fire was her saying like they're uh like she's throwing a fire on that like she's over it maybe oh no the trailer's burning down trailer park oh, okay pride flag I wonder if it's like, um, it feels like a trailer park, but it might be a community of the gay population or the gay community in general. Um, and it seems like they're living in harmony. So maybe she's just trying to show like, you know, they're, they're living their best lives. Why was it a five? that say oh the, oh i pause on a frightening looking person <laughs> adam and eve not adam and steve okay so that does give more context what i, I was right then so it, it, she is trying to tackle 
maybe more bigotry in certain communities. But they're not letting it get to them. So, as funny as that lyric is, Shade never made anyone less gay, it's maybe talking about the sunshine about ruining the parade, but also Shade as in like, you know, your comments or you saying Adam and Steve or whatever it said, y your comments doesn't change that person's identity. Like, I think, I think she's just trying to say that it's, again, their life, it really shouldn't matter what, like, what you think about it, and so like, why are you taking so much effort out of your life to make someone feel bad about theirs? Is that Ellen? Oh, that's like Cruel Summer. And this song was probably one of the singles, huh? So that was probably like a little, little Easter egg for us. And they're unbothered. Oh, it's the pop, pop queen pageant. I see you over there on the internet, comparing all the girls who are. Is that Taylor? No. And we see you over there on the internet, comparing all the. Oh, okay, that might be someone in drag. Girls who are killing it, but we figured you out. We all know now. We all got crowns. You need to come oh, down. Oh, 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 so. Maybe she is talking about other people, like her experiences too, because if it's the pop queen, don't really know who the other people are, but it's like a contest that looks like, and like she's saying, we all got crowned. So they're all, they're all winners here. They're all great. No matter what people might say online, like comparing them, they're all still very successful in what they do. Food fight. Perry. Okay, well that was not on my bingo card for a music video to have Taylor Swift dressed up as french fries. Katy Perry is burger. What? And Ryan Reynolds? Let's show, oh man, this is all in the way. It said something, let's show our pride by demanding on a national level something our citizens equally please sign my, oh, okay. What does it say? The Equality Act. 851 signatures? 851,000 signatures. Last year, the House passed the Equality Act, which would protect the LGBT people from discrimination in their workplaces, schools. The next step is to get it to the Senate. While there's no information as yet to when it will go into the Senate. Okay, so she was actually fighting for a law to be viewed and to give um, equality to marginalized communities. Okay, so that makes sense as to what the song would be about. Um, I definitely think the song has a powerful message and I appreciate you know, Taylor going, um, fighting for people that she feels like maybe are underserviced or just communities that she wants to help out because while it might not directly affect her, I think she sees the effects of it maybe with her friend group or maybe just as someone who has a lot of fans. Um, so I think that's a great thing that she did for that. So let me know what you think of the song. Let me know if you have any context. I think that Equality Act kind of meshes the final clue together, but let me know if you know anything about the video or the song in general. Um, but thank you so much and I will see you in our next video.